What's cracking guys, your boy Daniel here from Stack Strength, and today I'm gonna to talk all about fish oil supplementation. Now, specifically regarding fish oil and recovery from resistance training. So fish oil has gained a lot of uh, popularity for their health benefits. Uh, omega-3 acids in particular have demonstrated a positive effect on things like blood pressure, uh, triglycerides, heart rate, as well as improved arterial dilation. They also have been shown to possess some anti-arrhythmic uh, as well as anti-inflammatory properties all of which has been shown to have protective effect against cardiovascular disease. So this is really, really positive. But a little bit less is actually known about the role of fish oil supplementation in recovery from resistance training. And so that's kind of what we're going to dive into today. Now, a paper by, and I hope I'm saying this right, uh, Hillison et al. found that the minimum effective dose for fish oil supplementation to elicit a positive response in recovery was about 2 grams. And they needed to be supplemented for at least 4 weeks. However, the research has been a little bit conflicting in terms of what the actual dosage should be. So a 2020 paper by Dusseldorp and all uh, set out to examine the effects of fish oil supplementation on various markers of recovery following a strenuous bout of eccentric exercise. So what they did is they looked at uh, the effects of a seven-week fish oil supplementation protocol where the dosages were set to two, four, and six grams between groups. So this was a really well-controlled study. They basically utilized a randomized placebo-controlled double-blind experimental design. So this is highly, highly controlled. They were randomly assigned to consume either two, four, or six grams of fish oils per day, or a placebo supplementation for seven and a half weeks. Now there were eight participants per group. There were about four female and, and uh, four males per group. They also implemented a six week run in the supplementation period. So they had one week involving familiarization and testing at the beginning of the week, and then experimental testing at the end of the week, as well as a three day, uh, three day period of recovery testing. So the researchers looked at things like muscle soreness, uh, venous blood for the assessment of ketine kinase, uh, LDH, as well as other indices of, of muscle uh, function. So these were collected prior to eccentric exercise as well as immediately after, and then one hour, two hours, four, 24, 48, and 72 hours post-exercise. So all the participants continued to supplement until the actual 72 hour time period was completed. And uh, when, when we look at the study design, we can see that all participants completed eccentric squats in a Smith machine with a tempo of 401 for 10 sets of eight using 70% of their 1RM. And they took three minutes between sets. Now, everyone was made to complete five sets of 20 bodyweight split jump squats as well, um, in, in addition to the, the testing. Now, the primary metrics used to evaluate muscle damage recovery were blood biomarkers, uh, perceived soreness, vertical jump, agility testing, 40-yard sprint, and then MVIC, so maximum voluntary uh, isometric contraction. So what the researchers observed was that six grams of fish oil supplementation did have a beneficial effect on perceived muscle soreness. So all the participants reported lower scores uh, across all time points of the measurements. The six gram group also decreased the recovery time of vertical jump performance, and in some cases also resulted in even better blood values when monitoring indirect uh, markers of muscle damage when compared to some of the other controls that were at a lower dosage. So what does this all mean though? Uh, now, although the researchers did find a beneficial effect in recovery when supplementing with six grams of fish oil per day, the magnitude effect was still relatively small. Therefore, if you're going to use a strategy, you really need to base it on a cost-benefit analysis. Now, I typically don't recommend too, too many supplements for, for most people. However, from a health perspective, I do think fish oil is a good, uh, good general supplement to take. So if you do decide to take it for health reasons, you may also experience some minor uh, benefits to your recovery as well, which is always positive. Now, if you do want a little bit more of a comprehensive analysis of primary recovery strategies and how to utilize them effectively to see better results, you can always refer to my previous article, Optimize Your Recovery for Maximal Strength Gains. I wrote that for Kabuki Strength a while back. Uh, it's very, very in-depth and it's very thorough and it covers virtually every single recovery metric you can think of. So I hope that helps, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.